Once upon a time, there was a young companion and cousin of Imam Hussein. He was known as Muslim ibn Aqil, and his title was Abu Dawood. He was the second child of Aqil ibn Abu Talib. Muslim ibn Aqil was a heroic individual in the tragedy of Karbala. His loyalty, respect, and patience is evident in his actions before the great event of Ashur. He contributed to Karbala by going ahead to Kufa with a letter from Imam Hussein to his followers in Kufa. Imam Hussein had received a letter of invitation from the people of Kufa with the following words. We invite you to come to Kufa as we have no Imam to guide us. So you Allah will unite us on the path of truth. Imam Hussein also received hundreds of other letters and petitions for him to be their leader. Therefore, Imam Hussein decided to send Muslim ibn Aqil, who was a famous warrior in his place, to Kufa to study the situation there and report to him. He also wrote a letter to the people of Kufa and gave it to Muslim ibn Aqil. In this letter he said, I'm sending my cousin and one of the most trusted ones from my family, Muslim ibn Aqil, to report to me about your affairs. If his report agrees with what you have written, I will soon be with you. You must be clear of the fact that the Imam is the one who follows the Book of Allah and serves Allah in all matters and affairs with justice, honesty, and truth. On reaching Kufa, more than 18,000 people appeared before Muslim Ibn Aqil and pledged their loyalty to Imam Hussein as their Imam. Seeing this, Muslim Ibn Aqil reported to the Imam that he should proceed to Kufa as the situation was positive. However, amongst the people of Kufa there, there were many spies of Yazid. When Yazid heard from them of the invitations to Imam Hussein and the arrival of, in Kufa of Muslim Ibn Aqil, he was filled with anger. He sent a message to his governor in Basra, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad to go to Kufa and take over the position of the governor of Kufa. Ibn Ziyad was also told to arrest Muslim and kill him. Arriving in Kufa, he addressed the people of Kufa, announcing his appointment as Yazid's governor. He then ordered them to surrender Muslim Ibn Aqil to him. Ibn Ziyad surrounded Kufa. When this announcement was made, Muslim Ibn Aqil secretly moved to Hani Ibn Urwa's house another great companion of Imam Hussein. Muslim Ibn Aqil used to lead the prayers in the great mosque of Kufa. The support for Muslim Ibn Aqil in Kufa had become a major threat for Yazid and his governor, Ubaidullah Ibn Ziyad. During evening prayers, people were sent from the court of the governor publicly announcing that anyone found supporting Muslim Ibn Aqil would be tortured and put to death. When Muslim Ibn Aqil finished Salatul Maghrib, his 30,000 followers had reduced to 18. When Hazrat Muslim completed the Isha prayers and turned back, he found the mosque empty except for Hani Ibn Urwa. Ibn Ziyad, the horrific governor, found out where Muslim Ibn Aqil was. Hani was arrested and thrown into prison. Muslim Ibn Aqil and his two sons left Hani's house and Hazrat Muslim went into the desert to try to get back to Imam Hussein to warn him not to come to Kufa. Muslim Ibn Aqil lost his life when he was arrested. Ibn Ziyad told Ibn Aqil that he would be killed and asked him if he had any last wishes. Muslim Ibn Aqil said, I owe a debt which should be paid off by selling off my sword and armor. Secondly, I want my body to be given a proper burial. Thirdly, I want a message sent to Imam Hussein advising him not to come to Kufa. Ibn Ziyad agreed to the first request, refusing the last two. He then ordered Muslim Ibn Aqil to be taken to the rooftop of the palace to be executed and his body thrown to the ground. Immediately after Muslim's death, Hani Ibn Urwa was dragged to the rooftop and executed. Hazrat Muslim ibn Aqil's two sons, Muhammad and Ibrahim, were also killed in Kufa. The people of Kufa called upon Imam Hussein to take over the Umayyad bloodline, but instead cowardly hid in their homes as the ambassador of the Imam was murdered.
إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ